You're not afraid of the dark, are you? So why should I feel discouraged? Or why should the shadows come? Born in Chester, Pennsylvania on October the 31st, 1896, Ethel Waters was an American singer and actress. Although she mostly performed jazz, swing, and pop music on Broadway and concerts, she began singing blues in the 1920s. Her mother later married Norman Howard, a railroad worker, and she took on the surname Howard, but later reverted to her biological father's name, Walters. Growing up in the North, she was exposed to many cultures and led her marrying at the age of 13 to an abusive husband. She eventually left that marriage at the age of 17. She worked at a Philadelphia hotel making $4.74 a week. She began attending costume parties at nightclubs and pressing the audience with her vocals. Beginning in Baltimore, Maryland, she toured on the Black Bondeville. Performances that came out of the movement and style of African Americans from the 1880s until the early 1930s. She worked with Bessie Smith, a blues singer, and became a performer in the Harlem Renaissance in the 1920s. Her first Harlem job at the Edmund Cellar was a blackface comedy, Hello, in 1919. This is a form of theatrical makeup used by non-black performers to represent a black person. Becoming the fifth black woman to make a record for Carnival Records, she then joined Black Swan, a jazz and blues record label founded in 1921 in Harlem, New York. Being the first highest paid black artist at the time, she recorded with Black Swan from 1921 to 1923. She recorded for Columbia in 1925, achieving a hit with Dinah. Plantation Club at Broadway. She joined the Keith Vondeville circuit on what they call the White Time because they performed for white audiences and combined with screenings of silent movies. In 1926, she recorded I'm Coming, Virginia. Stop the traffic to Dixie. Hold it right at the line. Don't want nothing betwixt me. And that old home of mine. Composed by Donald Haywood, lyric by Will Marion Cook, she sang it on the Africana production at Broadway Daily's 63rd Street Theater. In 1933, Walters appeared in an all-black film entitled Rufus Jones for President, directed by Roy Mack, which also featured a young child performer, Sammy Davis Jr., as Rufus Jones. That same year, she had a featured role in the Irvin Berlin Broadway musical, As Thousands Cheer. She became the first black woman to integrate Broadway's theater district. She moved to LA to appear in the 1942 film, Cairo. That same year, she reprised her starring stage role in an all black musical film, Cabin in the Sky, directed by Vicente Manilli and starring Lena Horne. In 1939, Walters became the first African American to star in her own TV show before Nat King Cole appeared in 1956. The Ethel Walters Show was a 15 minute variety show that appeared on NBC on June the 14th, 1939. This included the dramatic Broadway play Mamba's Daughters, based in the Gala community of South Carolina. She was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for the film Pinky in 1949. In 1950, she won the New York Drama Critics Circle Award for her appearance in the play The Member of the Wedding. She also repeated her role in the 1952 film version. Also that same year, 
She was the first African-American actress to sing in the television series, starring an African-American in the leading role on ABC's TV from 1950 to 1953. She was later replaced by Louise Beavers in her third season. She guest starred in 1957 to 1959 on the NBC's The Ford Show. In a 1957 episode, she sang Cabot in the Sky. She received a 1962 Primetime Emmy Award nomination in her appearance in the 1961 episode Route 66. Also, she was the first black woman nominated for an Emmy. In 1950 to 1951, she wrote her autobiography, His Eye is on the Sparrow, with Charles Samuels, where she candidly wrote about her life. In 1955, she was deeply in debt with the IRS when they seized her royalties and back taxes. Married three times with no children, in 1957, she attended the Billy Graham Crusade at New York's Madison Square Garden. Although at the age of 61 with debt, she still gave out happiness to others. It was September the 1st, 1977, Ethel Waters, at the age of 80, would succumb to her uterine cancer, kidney failure, and other ailments in Chatsworth, California. Although she's gone in the physical, she left back a legacy that's unmatched. Ethel Waters is also the great aunt to the dance music singer, Crystal Waters best known for her 1990s hits Gypsy Woman, 100% of Pure Love, and 2007 Destination Collabora. Watch you. 